Coming up on Too Spooky For You. An urban explorer is chased out of an abandoned factory, and these would-be ghost hunters find something scarier than evidence of the paranormal. All this and more coming up on Five Scary Urban Explorations Gone Wrong. Number 5. Mansion of the Occult Exploration Unknown is a channel that I covered back in the video, Five Ghostly Figures Caught on Camera, of which I will leave a link in the description if you want to check that one out. The channel features a man named John, as he explores a variety of abandoned places as he documents his explorations for his viewers. One such outing features a house located at a place known as the Devil's Elbow in Canada. John claims that the house was previously owned by a priest of the occult, and that no one wants to buy the property due to its history. Everything is going normal, but eventually, he begins to have a feeling that he's not alone, and almost feels like he is being watched. He even calls out to see if anyone is there with him before continuing his video. Freaking somebody down there, dude. Come on, quit messing with me. I'm just trying to freaking. I, I'll leave. There's some guys in here. As I've got myself in a bad situation. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. After exploring the upstairs for a while, he heads back down when all of a sudden the upstairs light comes on. He decides to call out, saying that he comes in peace. But that is when something frightening happens. Oh my god, Freelander. Hello? Is there somebody here? I'm not here to bother or rob anything. I was just here exploring. I thought it was a baby. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit, oh my god! You can hear a man scream at John, stating that he's going to kill him, causing John to run out of the house and back toward his car. Now, just watching the video and hearing the threat is enough to make your heart jump. I can only imagine how scared John was in the moment. I'm not here to bother or rob anything. I was just here exploring. I thought it was a man. This is yet another reminder that sometimes abandoned places are best left that way. I don't see anybody. That was freaking... I just walked to the bush. That's freaking terrifying. Um... Number 4. Abandoned Hotel The YouTube channel Franco TV features a man by the name of Frank and his adventures exploring multitudes of places ranging from cemeteries to abandoned buildings. In one such video, he is exploring an abandoned hotel in search of something paranormal, as there have been a number of deaths on the property. As he's filming, he gets verification that there are some homeless people taking up residence in the abandoned hotel, but they seem to pay him no mind. The exploration goes on without a hitch, but Franco's viewers pointed something out upon watching the video. I haven't recorded just yet, but because there's so many people here, I have to be extremely careful and cautious at what I do, because the last thing I need to do is get robbed, mobbed, or anything. But this place is huge. It's like four buildings in one. A menacing-looking man can be seen in one of the rooms as Franco walks by it, seemingly stalking him. The way he has a hood covering his face while watching Frank reads to me that he had ill intentions, and I think it's good that Franco decided to leave the property when he did. In my opinion, most of those living in the hotel are most likely just people that are down on their luck. But that doesn't mean that there couldn't be outliers that would attack an explorer like Franco, if given the chance. And I think that guy with the hood might have just been planning that. Though, what do you think? Number 3. Killer Farm 
The YouTube channels CJ Faison and Moose Argy are two friends that record themselves doing urban exploration. In a pair of their videos, we get two viewpoints from when they decided to explore an abandoned farm in Virginia that was previously owned by serial killer Ray Copeland, who was convicted of killing five drifters back in 1991. Things are going fine at first, but then something happens that scares our brave explorers half to death. Kind of cool. I swear I just heard something, but... No, it just sounded like a bang. What the fuck?! A man can be heard yelling, telling them to leave and threatening them. They debate on jumping out of the second story window of the barn, but they aren't sure if the person could be waiting for them somewhere outside. Where are you gonna jump to? I don't know about that because my foot still hurts from when I broke my toe. I'm not taking the fucking stairs. I'm jumping. Okay, you jump, I'll take the stairs. I'll confront him, I don't care. I'll knock the guy in. CJ is scared, but Mo tries to talk to him and refuses to back down. Uh, sir, we don't mean you any harm, we're just explorers. Sir? We don't mean you any harm, we're just exploring, we're just making a video. We don't mean you any harm, but if you want to get tough with me, I'll get tough with you. Some people might say this is brave, while others might say it's kind of stupid. CJ finally decides to jump and grab his bag, and looks around for any sign of someone as he's waiting for Mo to take the stairs. Meanwhile, Mo thinks that CJ left him, so he makes his way down the stairs, trying to intimidate whoever is stalking them. Just left me? Is this guy for real? He literally just left me. Yo, you don't scare me, buddy. There's nobody here. They finally link back up and make their way the hell out of there. This just goes to show you that if you decide to explore somewhere, you may want to make sure that no one is around beforehand. A bang. Number 2. Blind Danger The YouTube channel The Fam features a man named James. Much like the other clips in this video, he explores abandoned places, but for him it's much more dangerous. James is legally blind and uses the screens of his camcorders to help him see where he is going while exploring, which is extremely dangerous with the dilapidated nature of the places he visits. In January of 2020, he decided to explore an abandoned building in Richmond, Virginia in hopes of finding evidence of the paranormal due to rumors of it being haunted. What he found is way more dangerous than any ghost could be. At first he finds evidence that someone had stayed here but has to leave in order to get new lights for his camera. He comes back, but this time he isn't alone. Step back here for sure. Hey, what is oh up? shit! What the? Yo, oh, yo, 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 bro, come on. Yo, I'm good, dude. You all right? I'm just making a video, dude. Bro, you need anything? You okay? All right, all right, all right. I got you, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, man. Alright bro, alright. 
A man jumps out of the room and chases James, who, not thinking, heads up the stairs of the building, essentially trapping him. I knew that was going to happen. I knew something like that was going to happen here. Where the hell am I up here? I don't want to go back down that way. Oh, hell no. What the hell, guys? That scared the living crap out of me because I had no idea there was anybody there. He understandably does not want to go back down, but the floor is full of holes and one wrong step could spell injury or worse. He eventually decides to go back down the stairs, but goes live on Instagram just in case the man decides to attack him. As he does, the guy starts yelling at him again and causes him to run, yelling at him to stay back. I don't know if he's down there. Yo, if you're down here, I'm friendly. Hey, 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 All right, bro. Come on, man. I told you. I'm just filming, bro. Hey, stay back there, dude. Yo, hey, don't worry about what you're saying, dude. Just keep yourself back there. All right, okay. 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 All right, we out here. Yeah, all right, man. Now, I have to say, it is pretty brave to go into these places and check them out without knowing what you're going to find. But I just have to say that James has much more balls than any of us. Hey, what is oh shit! What the? Oh, yo, 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 bro, come on! Hey there, if you're enjoying this video, it would really help out a lot if you could click the like button, as it lets YouTube know to help other people find this channel. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want notifications for the next video I release. You can also follow me on Twitter at too spooky for you 5 If you want to be super awesome, you can also donate to my Patreon at too spooky for you yt With that out of the way, let's get to the last video. Number 1. More Than Ghosts The YouTuber, Andrew Duffy, was exploring an abandoned house with his friend Danny and his wife in search of some evidence of ghosts. Things are already a bit dangerous, as the only way in is through a hole leading into the basement. They do the normal YouTube ghost hunt thing by overreacting to every little noise, but there is one thing that they won't need to overreact to. Two times. Yeah, two times. Yeah. Yeah. The crazed man starts shouting at them for being in his house, and the group attempts to hide. Turn the light off! Turn it off! Turn the light off! They then attempt to get out of the house, but the man tries to chase them down. They are able to get a door closed behind them, but the only way out of the house is the hole they came in, beyond the door. They make a break for it, and Andrew and Danny's wife are able to get out, but Danny gets left behind. Andrew starts to climb back in, but sees Danny coming out. Danny says the guy attacked him, so he had to punch him out. 
Bobby, come on, man. That's, that's a punch. Oh, my God. But apparently the punch wasn't enough to deter the psycho. Hey, guys, we've just freaking been attacked right now. Don't worry, the line. He's there. What? He's coming down. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Fucking go, boys. Go. All three of them make a break for it, constantly checking to see if the guy is chasing after them. After they see that he isn't coming, they relax a bit, and Andrew states that he is never coming back. I am never, ever coming back here again in my entire life. That's it, I'm done. I'm freaking done, bro. Now, some might say that this could have been faked, and that could be true. But the legit terror in their voices and on their faces makes me feel that this attack was real. But as always, I would love to know what you guys think. And there you have it. Five scary urban explorations gone wrong. So what did you think of these videos? Is urban exploration something you have done or consider doing? Or have these videos maybe swayed you in the other direction? Whatever the case may be, I just hope that they weren't too spooky for you. Until next time. A whale pops out of the water with its mouth open, forcing the kayaker into the water. Another angle shows how close they were to being swallowed up by the massive beast. Thankfully, no one was harmed.